All right, guys, as you guys can see, it is Monday. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I got the compass in. There it is, the slate blue compass. Uh, fits perfect on the trailer and the uh, J-Rack, so I'm able to carry the compass and the Pro Angler. Going to meet the fiance. Boat has not been on the water yet, at least not by us. It is a demo model. And uh, we did order it with the Mirage Drive 180. So we were able to pay the same amount as a brand new compass and get the 180. Uh, it's got a couple scuff marks, little tiny scratches, no big deal. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go put this thing on the water. She's gonna try it out. I'm hopefully gonna try it out if there's enough daylight and uh, give you some thoughts on it. If not, um, stay tuned for more videos about the compass as uh, I kind of make my decision on whether I wanna sell that and get a compass or order a compass without a seat and mirage drive and all that good stuff. But I'll see you guys at the lake. I could definitely see myself in that. Now the stand test, I don't know if I want to try today because the water's cold. Try it. Don't be a weenie. If I get soaked, <laughs> I'm be mad. pretty comfortable in calm waters I think I could stand and you're gonna hit me cause me to fall in the damn lake no. <laughs> but definitely more comfortable I think I could get used to it I think it's just the thing you have to get used to being that I'm so used to the pro angler being so stable this feels a little unstable but feels a lot more stable than the outback to me okay I don't know why it just does maybe it's a little bit wider maybe it's the more room to stand. It's got good turning radius. It does. It turns a lot better than that. That doesn't turn worth a crap. It's better with the sailing rudder that I put on it, but it's still not like the. I actually don't mind that handle. Yeah, it's actually comfortable. Yeah. Once you get used to it. Yeah. It's a little, I mean, different, but it doesn't bother me. I kind of forget about it after a minute or two. But it's also not sticking up out of the way. Right, it's nice and flush. Or, I mean, it is out of the way. It's not yeah. in the way. Right, like that one, I get my yeah. line and stuff caught on that all the time. Yeah. So, maybe this is like the new way they're going to do it, you know? Kind of keep it flush so where it's out of the way. It doesn't get hung up on line. It is nice. Yeah. I would like to see them do a pro version of this. With a little bit better seat, a square hatch, a trails. It's just mods. Right, that you can do yourself, but I'd like to see them sell a premium version of this with this hole. I kind of like that front. Um, the net? Net. It's a lot easier to access than a hatch because you can just stuff stuff under there. Yeah, like if I had a easy, coat or something. Yeah, you can just put it on there like a, a rain jacket or something like that and it's yeah. Yeah. out of the way. In the back, it's a little bit narrower than the Pro Angler, but the length is the same. Yeah. Pro Angler is a little bit wider. A little bit wider in the back. It's just a wider boat, so. Yeah. It sits up out of the water a lot more than the Compass does. I yes. mean, that's about where you're sitting, your butt is versus mine. But. Yeah, good boat. It is a good boat. I like it. A lot easier to lip a fish. Because <laughs> you're right in you the You don't water. have to lean over. But I dig it. I like it. Drive off into the sunset. <laughs> Boy, sometimes that way. We're driving through the shade. I feel like this is just a lighter, simpler pro angler. It's a lot more manageable. That thing's turning on a dime. It turns a whole lot better. 
It almost turns like an Outback. It might even turn better than an Outback. I tested the Outback a couple months ago. I can't really remember. It just, I don't know, it feels more comfortable than an Outback. To it's me. a nice, small, movable Yeah, hobby. I mean, it's 67, 70 pounds, something like that. I mean, I can pretty much just pick it up with two hands. For that, I'm like, <laughs> I'm dragging it and everything. This I can actually pick up and like curl and set on a trailer, or put on the back of a truck. It's not that big a deal. The handles are kind of in a weird placement, the side handles. But you can add, that's another mod you can do. You can add the Outback handles if you really want to like pick it up over the top of your head. Right. But they're in here. You do want to use it. Yeah, it just feels like a lot more room than the Outback. It doesn't feel like, I mean, I was expecting to feel cramped on this too, just coming from the Pro Angler, but I'm not. I feel like there's plenty of space. Yeah. This would have definitely been the kind of guy to bought had it been out last year when I bought my Pro Angler. But I just, I love the Pro Angler. I don't think I could get rid of it. <laughs> I think I could add a compass and have two. <laughs> I don't think I could get rid of it. Because when I want to go somewhere and I want to feel stable, and no, I'm not gonna flip. No, I'm gonna take that one. And the just, behemoth. Yeah. Rivers, I bet this thing, let's see how it paddles. I'll only say one thing, Hobie can work on their colors. For the compass? <laughs> yeah. In general. I like the red and the old blue that they replaced this blue. They replaced the Caribbean blue with this. It's good. pretty well too. I take this in the river with no drive. They wouldn't have any problem with it. Paddle's a little short for me. But I could use my bending branch paddle and be good. Nice Overall, tough order. Thoughts. Pretty good but pretty solid. Like I said I'd prefer it had had I not bought that already, I'd have went with this. And I'd definitely get the square hatch, move that one to the front. Little mods, but you're still coming in at probably a thousand dollars cheaper. Right. And that's you could put decking mat on it. You can put the A trails on it. Uh, the the uh, hatch mod, the Mirage Drive 180, and you're still under what an Outback would cost at like 25. You're right at that level. The only thing I don't like about it is the colors. I know you like the baby blue, kind of slate blue color. I'd, I'd prefer a more royal blue, darker blue. Like your hair. Not, not quite that dark, like the old Hobie blue. Royal, not really navy. Like a bright blue, not this kind of like Easter egg color. And the neon's just, no. <laughs> it's just, I don't like yellow in general. I don't like the papayas. I don't like any of that. So the yellow is just out for me. Even if they just open it up to the same colors as the rest of the boat, that would be great. Like a red would be awesome. Or an orange. Orange.